Nitra Castle is a well-preserved castle complex in Nitra. It is located on the castle hill in the city center at an altitude of 220 meters above sea level, and creates a significant dominance of the city under the southern outcrops of the Tribech Mountains. Originally, it occupied the entire area of the castle hill and the upper town, about eight and a half hectares. The dominant feature of the castle complex is the Cathedral of St. Imram, the Bishop's Palace and the massive fortifications with the rising bastions. Today, the castle houses the Episcopal Office. The first written mention of the fortress dates back to 871. It mentions the construction work of the Slovak Prince Pribina and the consecration of the first church in Nitru in 828. The fortress of Nitru is also mentioned in connection with the activities of the Holy Brothers Cyril and Methodius. The center of the Nitra diocese was located here since 880. The fortress of Nitru in the Great Moravian State was the seat of the Slovak king Svetopolk. In 880, Pope John VIII declared his kingdom under the protection of Saint Peter, which meant that he gave the status of legitimate equality with the East Frankish kingdom. The Pope also proclaimed the independence of the ecclesiastical diocese of Great Moravia, headed by Archbishop Methodius as spiritual head and bishop of Nitra. As the first ruler, Svetopolk used the title king. Under his rule, Great Moravia reached its greatest territorial expansion. Svetopolk died in 894. After his death, the Pope described him as a delectus filius in his letters, until then the title was reserved only for the Byzantine and Frankish emperors. In 1001, the future king of Poland, Prince Boleslaw the Brave, defeated the Hungarian leader Stephen and settled in Nitru until 1029. After his death in 1029, King Stephen I recaptured Nitra. After the 1070s, there was a renewal of religious architecture, and the castle became the seat of the princes of the Arpad dynasty. During the devastating Mongol invasion in 1241 there was already a fortified castle on the castle hill, which resisted the invasion of the invaders. However, significant damage occurred during a fire after the siege of the castle by Bohemian King Premyslo Tokar II. After 1271 the restoration of the church and fortifications was necessary. The castle became the center of attention of rulers such as Matusz Czak-Trenczynski, Sigismund of Luxembourg or Matej Korvin, whose army ravaged the castle in 1465. The fortifications were strengthened again during the Turkish invasions of southern Slovakia in the 16th century, when a Renaissance castle palace and a new inner castle gate were built. Despite a good defense system, in 1663 the Turks managed to take control of the castle for a short time, and subsequently the entire defense system was rebuilt. At the beginning of the 18th century, the so-called the Upper Church and the Episcopal Palace were added. The Nitra Codex is the Latin Gospel, which is the oldest manuscript monument in Slovakia. The Nitra Codex dates back to 1083. It is a book written in regular letters with colored initials, containing liturgical lexicons. The most interesting of it is the front panel, whose decoration is a real artistic jewel. It is dominated by a Byzantine reliquary with a double cross made of silver, tin plate with a hollow interior, containing relics, wooden fragments and a piece of rough cloth. According to legend, they come from the cross, which is said to have been discovered by Helen, the mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great on Golgotha Hill in the 4th century. The book, written in Latin, originated in the Benedictine Monastery in Ronski Benedic, contains excerpts from the Gospels read during services, the so-called Bericopes. In addition, the Nitra Codex contains the names of saints, as well as a list of liturgical feasts celebrated during its creation. After its creation, the Codex was kept for a long time behind the walls of the monastery. After the death of the Benedictine Abbot John III, in 1510 the monastery began to decline materially and spiritually. 
In connection with this, the Codex in 1556 fell as a gift to the Estigum capital. Archbishop Juraj Slepchiansky Poronek, 1595-1685, has a great merit for his return to Slovakia. Thanks to him, this rare written monument of European importance falls into Nitra. In the period 1919-1942, however, it was again preserved in Estigum as a church treasure of the local basilica. The Codex was finally returned in 1942, when it was kept in Nitra Castle and is now owned by the Episcopal Office.